We all know Ralph Macchio for his iconic role as Daniel LaRusso, which catapulted him to mainstream success, but there are a lot more projects that the actor is known for. For today's video, we'll be talking about the 10 best Ralph Macchio movies and TV shows, so if you want to know more about this actor, make sure you keep watching until the end. Ralph Macchio, 60, continues to broaden his range. From 80s classics like The Karate Kid to more recent, grittier projects like The Deuce, here are a few more you should check out. For starters, let's begin with his earlier projects, which is the film Teachers. The 1984 film Teachers follows interconnected narratives led by Alex Jarrell, played by Nick Nolte, a popular social studies teacher who is temporarily assigned to be the student psychologist due to the school being overburdened with a lawsuit. Eddie Polikian, a troublemaker whom Jarrell takes under his wing, is played by Macchio. Teachers, despite its multiple storylines, attempted to be comedic, and attempts to address social issues remain watchable thanks to the performances of young stars such as Macchio, Laura Dern, and Crispin Glover. Next, we have Hitchcock. Hitchcock tells the story of Alfred and Alma Reveal, specifically during the production of Hitchcock's most rewatchable film, Psycho, based on the real life of the title filmmaker. Hitchcock is determined to make his most ambitious film yet, despite those around him insisting that he either settle for projects that are more conventional or retire. Macchio plays the minor but crucial role of Psycho screenwriter Joseph Stefano, opposite Anthony Hopkins in the role of Alfred Hitchcock. Even though the movie as a whole gets mixed reviews, critics generally praise the cast for having a good time reenacting one of Hollywood's most important films. Moving forward, we have the 1983 film The Outsiders. The Outsiders, directed by Francis Ford Coppola, follows the Greasers, a teen gang in rural Oklahoma at odds with a rival group, the Socials. When a Greaser murders a Social, the repercussions ripple throughout the clan as the perpetrators flee. In one of his most underappreciated roles, Macchio plays Johnny Cade, the young instigator of the whole affair, opposite a cast of future A-listers Matt Dillon, Patrick Swayze, Rob Lowe, and Tom Cruise. Although the film received mixed reviews, it is now considered a cult classic and has launched the careers of many of today's biggest stars. Next on today's list is the 1986 movie Crossroads. In Crossroads, which takes place in rural Mississippi, a young blues guitarist works with an older musician to find a song by one of his favorite artists that is missing. The child learns about growing up, heartbreak, and what it means to play music with soul along the way. The film, in which Macchio portrays Eugene Martone, a 17-year-old guitarist, received praise for its originality and genuine musical connections. At the time, it was hard to promote the movie and get people to see it, but now it has a cult following. And then we also have the 1992 movie My Cousin Vinny on today's list. The story of how two young New Yorkers are wrongfully accused of murder while traveling through Alabama is told in his movie My Cousin Vinny. They hire a family member from New York to represent them despite his barely passable qualifications because they don't know anyone in the area. Macchio plays the accused Bill Gambini, a smart, talkative child, under the direction of injury lawyer Vinny Gambini, played by Joe Pesci. Marissa Tomei, a co-star in My Cousin Vinny, won Best Supporting Actress in a surprise upset at the 1993 Academy Awards, despite the cast receiving widespread praise for their lighthearted performances. Of course, we have to include The Karate Kid, his most famous throughout his career. The Karate Kid takes place in the San Fernando Valley suburbs of Los Angeles, where 17-year-old Daniel LaRusso is bullied by students of the Cobra Kai Dojo. When Mr. Miyagi, the handyman in Daniel's apartment complex, takes an interest in him, Daniel learns karate from this unexpected master and competes against Cobra Kai at the Under-18 All-Valley Karate Championships. The film became a sensation, and Macho became an 80s teen star overnight, thanks to incredible word of mouth, a dramatic story, and exciting action sequences. Following the success of The Karate Kid, there were numerous sequels, reboots, and a TV show spin-off, Cobra Kai. Next on the list is his 2017 project, The Deuce. The Deuce, set in New York City in the 1970s and 80s, follows a cast of characters connected to the city's burgeoning porn industry, from porn stars themselves to the cops attempting to crack down on them. Officer Haddix, a jaded cop working the groove in areas frequented by sex workers, is played by Macchio. The drama series also starred James Franco, Maggie Gyllenhaal, and David Krumholtz alongside Macchio in a crime drama from the creators of The Wire and was praised for capturing the grit of the period without losing sight of its weighty characters. Next on the list, we have Netflix's Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai, set 34 years after the events of The Karate Kid, focuses on the life of Johnny Lawrence, played by William Zabka, Daniel's opponent in the Under-18 All-Valley Karate Championships. Johnny, now washed up, reopens Cobra Kai to teach his teenage neighbor how to defend himself against bullies, prompting Daniel to open a studio as well. 
Machio, reprising his role as Daniel LaRusso, joins a cast of young actors, including Zapka, to bring a fresh new chapter to the Karate Kid saga. The show, which debuted on YouTube Red before being picked up by Netflix, has grown in popularity with each season. But apart from the ones we mentioned already, fans of the actor should also check out his performance in Ugly Betty. Ugly Betty tells the story of America Ferrara's Betty Suarez, a Mexican-American woman raised in Queens who is hired to work at a fashion magazine despite her obvious lack of fashion sense. Macho plays Archie Rodriguez, a councilman and the boyfriend of Betty's older sister Hilda, played by Anna Ortiz. The ABC comedy ran for four seasons before being cancelled due to low ratings, thanks in part to the efforts of Macho and several other recurring cast members. During that time, the show won two Golden Globes and was nominated for 18 Emmys, with star America Ferrara winning an Emmy for her work in the first season. And we finally save the best for last, which is none other than Psych the Movie. Psych the Movie picks up after the conclusion of its predecessor television show, Psych, and follows Sean and Gus as they investigate a new crime linked to Juliet in San Francisco. Macho reprises his supporting role as Nick Conforth, a police academy instructor whose nerves prevented him from becoming a cop. During its initial broadcast, the film attached a large audience due to the involvement of the show's creator, a dedicated fan base, and the return of several original cast members. Another sequel, Psych 2 Lassie Come Home, was inspired by the film's success and was released on Peacock in 2020. Ralph Macchio remains in the spotlight because a new Karate Kid movie has been confirmed to be in the works, following the fifth season of Cobra Kai. The return of his character, Daniel LaRusso, in the popular Netflix show has given the former child actor's career a boost. Following a film hot streak during the 80s, inverse probably the greatest names in Hollywood, Machio has shown up in a few TV programs. As we mentioned earlier, a new Karate Kid film is set to take place after Cobra Kai's trilogy hint. Are you curious to know more about this movie? Then keep watching for more. You heard it right, the production of a new Karate Kid movie has been confirmed by Sony Pictures. The Karate Kid starred Ralph Macchio as Daniel LaRusso, a young bully teen, and Pat Morita as Mr. Miyagi, his mentor. It was released in 1984. Mr. Miyagi teaches Daniel karate to help him protect himself from bullies and stand up to William Zabka's Johnny Lawrence, who trains at a dojo called Cobra Kai. The movie was a huge hit, which led to several sequels and a remake in 2010. According to Variety, Sony Pictures is developing a new Karate Kid film, the franchise's first, since the 2010 reboot starring Jackie Chan and Jaden Smith. The studio has not released an official synopsis or cast list, but the film will be released on June 7, 2024. Though it is unknown whether the film will reboot the franchise with an all-new cast or connect in any way to Cobra Kai, the cast of the hit series would likely reprise their roles in the film if asked. Sony's announcement follows Zabka's trilogy tease and Machio's reference to expanding the franchise universe. With the foreshadowing shared by those original stars, it's possible that they'd be involved in some capacity in the production of the new Karate Kid film if Sony invited them to participate. The success of Cobra Kai demonstrates that there are always new stories to tell with familiar characters, but it's conceivable that Sony will remake the Karate Kid with a new face and mentor. The nostalgia sparked by the Karate Kid film franchise promises a built-in audience, no matter what Sony decides to do with it. Cobra Kai's final season has not been announced at this time. According to Zabka's recent remarks, the show's creator and original cast members do not intend to extend the show too much, but they will continue to develop the show's numerous unfinished stories. If the show continues into 2024, it will be interesting to see if it interacts with the upcoming Karate Kid movie from Sony, or if it exists entirely on its own. Nothing is certain until the title, cast, or synopsis are revealed. The only certain thing is that the movie will be released in June, making it a summer movie event to look forward to. Meanwhile, we're still waiting on the official announcement for Cobra Kai Season 6. The next season of Cobra Kai has yet to be officially confirmed by Netflix, but Ralph Macchio believes it will happen soon. We don't have that yet, but we feel confident thanks to all you folks that want to watch it that we'll have more life in what was born in the fall of 1983 when we were making this movie, The Karate Kid. Who knew? The actor told Collider in an interview. With that, we're ending today's video about Ralph Macchio's best works and what we know about the upcoming Cobra Kai movie. Are you excited about this upcoming movie? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And before you go, don't forget to leave a like and hit that subscribe button to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we upload new content to this channel. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.